ओम शांति टुडे इज 21 अप्रैल 2022 मॉर्निंग मुरली ओम शांति बाप दादा मधुबन इसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन टू स्टे इन रिमेम्बरेंस ऑफ द फादर इज अ वेरी स्वीट टोली विच यू हैव टू कंटिन्यू टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट टू अदर्स This means you have to continue to give others the introduction of alpha and beta. Question: What is the easy way to stay in permanent remembrance? Answer: In order to stay in permanent remembrance, forget your bodies and all bodily relations. While walking and moving around, practice staying in remembrance. If while sitting in yoga you even remember the red light your yoga will break you won't be able to stay in permanent remembrance those who especially ask for someone to conduct meditation for them are unable to have yoga song o traveler of the night do not become weary the destination of the dawn is not far off om shanti this is a matter of yoga because it is now the night the iron age is called the night and the golden age is called the day you are now going from the iron age night into the golden age day this is why you must forget the night and remember the day hal has to be removed from your intellects the intellect says this truly is hal no one as intellects can say this an intellect is in each one soul the soul knows that baba has now come to take you from night into day the father says o oh souls you now have to go to heaven however You first have to go to the land of peace and then to heaven that is you are yogis of firstly the home and then of the kingdom the land of death that is the night is now to end you now have to go into the day and this is called godly yoga in corporeal god teaches us yoga that is he and jesus a souls to him This is spiritual yoga whereas any other is physical yoga you children must not have yoga while just sitting in one place in whatever way people sit they teach others to sit in the same way here you are not taught to sit in any particular way yes in a gathering you have to sit with discipline but you can sit however you like in yoga you can even have yoga while walking and moving around or even while lying down artists are able to paint pictures while in yoga they paint pictures of shiv baba with whom they have yoga they know it is our baba who resides in the incorporeal world the supreme abode we too are residents of there we souls have to go there this should remain in your intellects as you walk and move around you shouldn't ask to be especially seated in tapasya or to have someone conduct meditation for you that is wrong fools would specially request this do children sit down especially in one place to remember their father they continue to say baba baba all the time they never forget him little children remember their father even more their mouths are always speaking so why here do you forget the parlokic father why does your intellects yoga break you must not say baba baba through your lips you souls know that you have to remember baba if you form the habit of especially sitting in one place to have yoga that is not yoga god himself is teaching you this godly yoga 
He is called Yogeshwar, the Lord of Yoga. God has taught you yoga. Remember me, your father. You should not feel that you enjoy yoga a lot. More than a didi, senior sister, sits in front of you to conduct meditation. The yoga of such children cannot remain permanent. For instance, when you have the difficulty of a heart problem, would anyone ask you to conduct yoga? This is a matter of remembering with your intellect. All the types of yoga people teach are wrong. There are no yogis in this world. In fact, when you remember anyone, that is yoga. If you like mango, your yoga is connecting to that. If you like the red light and you remember it, then that is having yoga with the light. However, here you have to forget your bodies and all your bodily relations and have yoga with me alone. Only then will you benefit and become conquerors of sin. The Father alone comes and shows you the path to salvation. No one apart from the Father can grant you salvation. All others show you the path of degradation. Heaven is called salvation, whereas the land of liberation is our home, where we souls reside. At this time, it is the dictates of human beings that have made everyone reach degradation. The incorporeal father comes and grants us salvation and then we stay in salvation for half the cycle. There, no one stumbles from door to door searching for God or to attain liberation or liberation in life. It is only when the kingdom of Ravan begins that you begin to stumble from door to door because you begin to fall. Devotion also has to start. You know, you will now shed your bodies and then go to the Shiva temple. The golden age is the unlimited Shiva temple. At this time, this is a brothel. You have to remember these things. If you don't remember Shiva Baba, you are not a yogi but a bhogi, someone who indulges in sensual pleasures. When you invite people to come and listen to you, they say they will only hear two words from you. The two words are very well known, Man Mana Bhav and Madhyaji Bhav. Remember me and remember your inheritance. Only through these two versions do you receive liberation in life. The father says, remember me and you will become free from diseases and remember the cycle and you will become wealthy. Through these two expressions, you become ever healthy and ever wealthy. If something is right, you have to follow it. Otherwise, it would be understood that you are a fool. Alpha and Beta are two expressions. Alpha is Allah and Beta is the creation. Baba is Alpha and Beta is the sovereignty. Some among you receive the sovereignty and others become subjects. You children have to keep a chart of how long you remember the father and your inheritance throughout the whole day. Only the father gives this Srimat. The father teaches you souls. People beat their heads so much for wealth. Brahma had a lot of wealth. When he saw that he was going to receive the sovereignty from Alpha, he thought, What am I going to do with this wealth? Why should I not give everything to Alpha and claim the sovereignty? Baba had a song composed based on this. The first one found Allah and the second one received the sovereignty. At that time, it entered his intellect that he was to become Vishnu, the four-armed image. What would I do with this wealth? 
that was it because baba opened the lock on his intellect baba was busy accumulating wealth but when one is receiving a sovereignty why should one do donkey work nevertheless baba did not starve whoever comes to baba is sustained very well they may starve at home but those who follow baba's shrimat here receive very good help from baba baba says show everyone the path remember the unlimited father and also remember the knowledge of the cycle and your boat will go across the boatman has come to take your boat across this is why they remember the purifier and the boatman however no one knows whom they have to remember because they have said that god is omnipresent they only refer to the image of shiva as god in that case why do they also called lakshmi and narayan as well as brahma vishnu and shankar god if everyone were to become the father who would give the inheritance by god being called omnipresent neither the one who gives nor those who receives remain it is written that establishment took place through brahma shiva is standing at the top shiv baba creates deities through brahma and so brahma too would become a deity this is the duty of the father alone it is his praise that is sung as the one incorporeal one the image of immortality the soul is an image of immortality death doesn't come to any soul therefore the father too is the image of immortality everyone's body is destroyed death never comes to a soul there is never untimely death there there you understand that you have to shed a body and take another if you are in heaven you definitely take rebirth in heaven here all the residents of hell they say so and so went to heaven therefore he must definitely have been in hell prior to that they don't even understand such an easy matter even sanyasis don't know this they simply say that the light merged into the light devotees who are residents of bharat remember god devotees are householders because devotion is for the household path those people sanyasis have knowledge of the element of light they believe they will have yoga with the element of light and merge into it they believe souls to be perishable they can never tell the truth only the one supreme soul is the truth you now have the company of the truth and so all other company is false in the iron age there are no human beings who speak the truth no one speaks the truth about the creator or creation the father says i am now telling you the essence of all the scriptures in the main scripture which is the gita they have put the name of a human being instead of that of the supreme soul even though krishna is ugly at this time you should now create a picture of krishna so that people are able to understand you should show him in two shades on one side show him to be dark blue and on the other side show him to be fair then explain to them by saying by sitting on the pyre of lust he becomes ugly and by sitting on the pyre of knowledge he becomes beautiful you have to show both paths the path of isolation and the family path the iron is then becomes the golden is after the golden is there are the silver copper and iron is is the soul says previously i was sitting on the pyre of lust whereas now i am sitting on the pyre of knowledge 
You children now know that from being impure, you are becoming residents of the land of angels. When you create something while you are in yoga, that thing will never go wrong. When your intellects remain still, you receive help. However, it is difficult. Baba says, I too forget. This is a very slippery game. You need to practice very well. You are unable to have permanent remembrance. Practice staying in remembrance while walking and moving along. You can remember Baba anywhere. You receive strength by staying in remembrance. At this time, no one knows true yoga. Apart from the father, all of those who teach you to have yoga are wrong. When God taught yoga, heaven was created. When human beings taught yoga, heaven became hell. When someone has even the slightest wrong activity, his intellect becomes locked. He is unable to stay in remembrance for even 10 to 15 minutes. Otherwise, it should be very easy for old women, children and those who are ill. It is a very good tolly. Even though someone may be deaf and dumb, he too can understand through signals. Remember the father and you will receive the inheritance. When people come, tell them, I will show you the path by which you can receive the inheritance of constant happiness of heaven from the unlimited father, the creator of heaven. You should continue to distribute small leaflets, etc. Let there be a lot of zeal and enthusiasm in your hearts to explain to those of any religion who come here. The father says, renounce all bodily religions. Remember me and your sins will be absolved and you will come to me. First of all, have this faith and then go into other matters. You must not move on until then. Consider yourselves to be souls and remember the father. This is the most first class aspect. There are just the two terms, Alpha and Beta, the Father and the Inheritance, Acha. To the sweetest beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bap Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence for Dharna Number 1. Surrender everything you have to Alpha and claim the sovereignty. Keep your chart of how long you remember the father and the inheritance. Number 2. Don't perform any wrong actions. Practice staying in permanent remembrance. Blessing May you be a powerful soul who finishes all complaints with all powers and becomes complete. If you have any weaknesses in you, then understand the cause of them and find a solution to it because it is Maya system that whatever you are weak in, that weaknesses will not allow you to be a conqueror of Maya. Maya will take benefit from your weaknesses and will deceive you in the end with that particular weakness. Therefore, accumulate a stock of all powers and become a powerful soul. By experimenting with yoga, finish all complaints and becomes complete. Remember the slogan, if not now, then never. Slogan those who finish obstacles with the powers of peace and patience are destroyers of obstacles. Om Shanti Invaluable Elevated Versions of Mateshwari G. What is your real aim? First of all, it is necessary to know what your real aim is. Your intellect has to understand this very well for only then 
will you be able to engage yourself fully in fulfilling that aim your real aim is i a soul am a child of supreme soul in reality i am karma atit but i have come into bondage of karma by forgetting myself by remembering this again and by having yoga with god i am destroying the sins i have committed so your aim is i a soul am a child of supreme soul some might consider themselves to be the same deities and be stable in that aim then they would not be able to receive god's power nor would their sins be absolved we now have the full knowledge that we souls are children of the supreme soul will become karma atit and claim the deity status of liberation in life in the future by staying firm in this aim you receive power when people ask for happiness peace and purity they can only be attained when they stay fully in yoga the deity status is your future reward our efforts are different and our reward is also different so this aim too is different i must not have the aim of becoming a pure soul and then becoming god no i have to have yoga with god and become a pure soul a soul does not become god acha om shanti please subscribe shri baba murli channel for the daily shri baba murli om shanti